it. The Leopards will win the game. 10-9. They can start coming across the field. 5-4. Frank Tavani leads the pack. As Lafayette will win their fourth in a row. And the first one to greet Frank is Sedale 3. Sedale 3 with a fabulous football game today. Andy Cohen is met by Frank Tavani. And the Lafayette Leopards have won their second in a row here at Goodman. Something they hadn't done in seven years. Now they win two in a row. And they've won their fourth in a row in this series. What a huge drive in the fourth quarter. They go 80 yards in 13 plays. Rob Curley, four for six for 52 yards and a touchdown. And he had the big run also. And here's Frank Tavani, a happy Frank Tavani. All right, thanks a lot, Gary. And John, an amazing effort here. Shutout football in the second half. Lafayette certainly put to the test on offense and defense. Your troops came through big in the second half, Frank. We talk about playing to the last play and to the last second in every play. I, my hat's off to Andy Cohen. He's an outstanding coach, a great person. That was a heck of an effort out there. Their kids played their hearts out. Sedale Three was the best athlete on the field, played with an injury. But you got to give it to our kids. We hung in there, and our defense did it in the second half. Speaking of injuries, DeAndre Morrow coming back strong after an early elbow injury. Your guys have been playing hurt all season long. I'm sure a lot of the injuries we never heard about are going to be coming out. What an emotional victory for this Lafayette squad. Hey, make sure they're not in that logo. Outstanding. Again, I'm just out of breath. I'm sorry. What an effort. This is what's good about college football. Two outstanding schools academically, strong programs. And I'll tell you what, the Lehigh kids played their hearts out. I know they're disappointed, but they played their best game of the year, but I think we did too. Let's talk quickly about seniors. Another group of seniors going out with four wins against Lehigh. That's got to be tremendous for them. There's no question. That was their goal. They wanted to get it. No way did they want to close this out. It's been a tough season, but 7-4 and four in this big win. Is as good a season despite no trophies or no rings. Absolutely. That's Frank Devani, the head coach of the victorious Lafayette Leopards. Now back to Gary and John. All right, Dan, congratulations to Frank Devani. Well, we don't know who the MVP is yet, but we know who John and I voted for. Rob Curley is our MVP choice, the 6'1", 200-pound sophomore from Cinnaminson, New Jersey, playing in his first ever Lafayette Lehigh game. He's got himself a win. When we come back, we will have the post-game show, and that is right around the corner. Stay with us. When the elements of nature blend, they create green. A green that's refreshing. A green that's rich in protective antioxidants and blended with citrus for a great taste. Lipton Green Tea. It's green tea redefined. Lipton Tea can do that. So Susan, how's your big report on local economic trends? Terrible. It's impossible to find information on local business trends. But isn't your presentation in 20 minutes? I don't know what I'm going to do. I am so dead. Actually, you can find all kinds of information about the local economy and news in the Express Times. It's got everything you need to stay on top of today's business trends. Do you work here? No. Gotta run. Express Times. Important. Interesting. Useful. The Lehigh and Delaware Valleys are the home of the most passionate and knowledgeable sports fans in the country. And now you have your very own show. Join RCN's Chris Michael, Joe Craig, and a rotating panel of sports experts and personalities as they discuss and debate the hottest issues of local, regional, and national sports action. Step up to the Sports Roundtable and give your opinion on the all-new RCN Sports Call-In Show, live every Thursday at 6 p.m. exclusively on RCN TV. Welcome back as you get a look at the game before the game. The Leopards have gone on to beat the Mountain Hawks in six of the seven years that they have won the previous week. Well, they won the previous week, and, John, they continue to not lose in November for four straight years. 
This is the post game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today, one of our players of the game. On the defensive side of the football, who else? But number 17, Andy Romans. Here's Dan. Gary, this guy covers 99% of the field, and he might be wearing about 98% of it right now. Andy Romans, just a fantastic warrior, leading this defense this season. One of the top defenses throughout the football championship subdivision throughout the season. you got to be proud of that. I guess more proud, though, are you of this victory today? Yes, thank you. I'm, more proud than, I'm proud of our team more than anything. Our seniors, this is a tribute to them, a tribute to our coaches, our whole team, our character. I think we showed what we're all about, and it's just... You know, nothing feels better than to send our seniors off with a win like that because they're great guys, all of them. It had to be huge to send them off with nary a loss against this Lehigh team in the four years that they've been playing football. Andy, you play every play as though it's your first play of the season, just going hard and not thinking about anything but tackling the ball carrier. And yet you've been hampered with injuries all season long. Tell us a little bit about what's gotten you through this injury plague season. Well, yeah, I've been a little banged up, but, you know, like I said, just – you know, I could never see myself not playing next to the guys on our team and being out there with them. So it's the rest of the team that keeps me going. Andy Romans, a true warrior here on the defensive side of the football, a junior. We'll see plenty of you next year. Congratulations on a victorious uh, effort today and an e excellent season for yourself. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, that's Andy Romans, one of our Pepsi players of the game on defense. We'll hope to gather up some more here shortly. Now back to you. All right, Dan. Lafayette with 374 total yards today, 259 in the air, 115 on the ground. They hold Lehigh on the day to 245 yards. They played at times like the number two team in the nation defensively and when they needed to hold the mountain hawks they did just that all right john it's time for the post game highlights and we'll take a look at how this one all unfolded yeah you know it started off with a bang for lafayette the deflection and a great reception by Dwayne o'dorsey it led to rob curley over the top lafayette takes an early uh, lead and then the interception in the end zone. What a great job that time! Uh, and then it leads to the uh, reception uh, by Yansane, uh, and uh, that eventually leads to Lehigh's first score. The three point of field goal gives them a 10 7 lead, and then Rob Curley hands the ball to Tyrell Kuhn, who gives Lafayette in a seesaw battle their lead, and then McGowan takes it in from point blank range. We were on a seesaw for a long time. The second half, Gary, it came down to a whole lot of defense. Here's the interception, really inconsequential. The missed field goal was critical, Gary. It really turned the momentum back to Lafayette. Here's the best pass of the day, I believe, that tight end throw to Mike Conti, the low down and out to Sean Adair, and Sean Adair again goes up in traffic. Rob Curley on this drive, four for six, 52 yards, and eventually Tyrell Kuhn kind of puts the icing on the cake. Here is the touchdown pass to Kyle Rader in that drive again, Gary, four for six, 52 yards, the touchdown play. You know, a lot has been talked about with these seniors and what it meant to these seniors, but isn't it a wise man who said one time, a babe shall lead them. The sophomore, Rob Curley, doing the job in the fourth quarter, salting home this win for his senior teammates. Those seniors, Kyle Rader, James Dixon, Dwayne O'Dorsey, Mike DePala, those guys all seniors, Marcel Quarterman, Ryan Williams, Chris Bacon, Adrian Lawson, Mark Plumby, Jordan Cullinane, also Jesse Padilla, Charles O'Mara, Kevin Logan, a senior. David Yankovic is a senior. Luke Shade is a senior, but he'll be back. So he'll be a fifth-year senior next year. And a fifth-year guy who came back, Keith Bloom. And, oh, I'm sure he is oh so happy that he did indeed. In previous years, Frank Tavani has used dog tags to motivate his team. He's used bracelets to motivate his team. He used a mountain climber to motivate his team, a guy who climbed Mount Everest uh, without sight. He was blind and did not uh, let that bother him. Today, John, he just told us, no motivation will motivate this team. They know how to win. All they have to do is come out, and they have to win. There you get a look at La Lafayette in November. They have not lost a regular season game in four years, and that was on the back of their T-shirts today. Remember, 